Hey friends, it's Rosie and in this video I'm going to show you how to make classic fried chicken wings. We're going to season our wings using basic ingredients and we're going to use a nice simple brine with something other than buttermilk. So I'm going to start off with my chicken wings. Now someone's going to ask me, so I'm going to answer it. Yes, you can use this recipe for chicken legs and thighs and all that other good stuff. Since someone requested wings, I'm going to use wings. So I rinsed the chicken under cool water, got it nice and clean, and now I'm going to make my brine. For this brine, all you need is some cold water. You're also going to need some regular old table salt, so let's sprinkle that on in there. And you'll also need some sugar. Don't forget, if you want the exact measurements for this brine, visit my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. Don't try to guess just by looking at the video. So stir everything until the sugar and salt is well dissolved. And now we're going to place our chicken into a nice size container. So once the chicken's in there, we're going to pour our sugar, salt water all over the chicken. You want to make sure it's nicely covered. And then we are going to cover our container. So I'm just going to place this in the refrigerator for about four hours, but you can certainly leave it overnight if you choose. So once I was ready, or once the four hours was up, I just drained all the sugar, salt water out. I did not rinse the chicken. And now I'm going to season this chicken, starting off with my poultry seasoning. My poultry seasoning does not have any salt in it. I like to control how much salt I use. Just FYI, I think you should really be careful what kind of uh, poultry seasonings you use because some of them are mostly salt. I'm also going to use some garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. And then I'm going to use my hands to make sure all of this chicken is nicely coated with the seasonings. So once I'm doing, done with that, of course, you know, I washed my hands. Let me just put that out there. And now I'm going to work on my seasoned flour. So you will need some all-purpose flour. You do not need self-rising flour for this. You'll also need some cornstarch. The cornstarch makes it really nice and crispy, so that's why I'm using it. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Now, I don't like too much salt on mine because I like people to, you know, be able to add salt if they want it once it's done. If you want to add more salt, you certainly can. Once everything was mixed up, I'm going to pour my seasoned flour into my little freezer bag here, or large freezer bag. And then I'm going to start adding my chicken into the freezer bag. I like using the freezer bags because I can see through them. I know a lot of people always say, why don't you use a brown paper bag like Grandma used to do? Because I can't see through a brown paper bag. And I'm a nosy person. Nosy rosy is what they call me. I got to see everything. So I shook the bag up until all the chicken was nicely coated with that seasoned flour. I'm going to shake off the excess flour. And now I am ready to start heating up my oil. So I'm using corn oil. You can use canola, peanut oil whatever you want to use. I'm going to use my cast iron skillet and I'm going to heat this oil over medium heat for about 10 minutes before adding the chicken in there. So one thing you want to remember, do not overcrowd your pan slash skillet, otherwise your chicken will not cook evenly. Another thing, if you're using a cast iron skillet, you want to make sure it's well seasoned it should not be sticking at the bottom of your pan. So just move the chicken around and if it moves easily, you have yourself a nice skillet, okay? So don't forget, if you want the exact measurements, visit my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. And if you're enjoying this recipe, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So once the chicken is done, it's going to be nice and golden brown, just like this. I'm just going to remove it out of my pan and place it on a paper towel line plate so it can absorb all of that excess oil. And now we are ready to dig in. So I'm just going to show you how juicy this chicken is. And let's just look on in. And there you have it. That is what a little salt and sugar water can do for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And check out my Soul Food and Southern Recipe playlist for more delicious recipes.